Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, so today I'm going to be doing my first ever shopping haul, which isn't really a haul. It's more I bought a bunch of stuff and I want to show you guys what it is. Um, so I have a problem. My problem is I love shopping for stationery. Pens, markers, notebooks, sharpeners, um, Cricut paper, you name it, I buy it. Why? Because in my head I feel like I'm this talented artist with paper and pens, but realistically, I'm not, so, yeah. <laughs> I do bullet journal. Um, I recently got into that, actually. I was watching um, this YouTube video, and I thought it was just really creative to, like, make your own planner, um, just because I'm always on the hunt for, like, the perfect planner. Like I said, I have a problem, so I'll buy, like, three or four a year, end up using, like, one of them for, like, two months, then get rid of it and use another one, and the cycle just continues. But, so I went to TJ Maxx last week um, on Thursday because I did want to go ahead and get some things for Mother's Day and just get extra things to fill like my mom's present with and as well um, a couple of the other moms that I know in my life. But um, there's one beauty thing on here that I found and it was this gold infused blender and stand. It is empty because I took it out of its box. But this is the little stand and this is the beauty blender that comes with it. And it, I just thought this was such a good idea because I don't like putting uh, my beauty blender like anywhere around my sink. I usually do because I'm in a rush. But now that I have this, I can just plop it here and keep this, keep it cleaner. Just because I know that I'm not the best at cleaning my makeup brushes. So I feel like with this, it'll be clean because I'll see it and I'll want to keep it this clean. Probably won't happen that way, but I like it. The second thing that I found was this Spectrum Noir Basics Permanent Dual Tip Markers. And these come in the like essentials, that's what it's called. But they are dual tipped and they come in these basic colors. If you guys see on here, they're pastels, there's greens, there's grays, and there's like your blacks. Um, so I did swatch some of these because I already opened it. Um, so I swatched some of these, I don't know if you guys can see these but this is more of a dark brown this was an earth brown and this last one right here was a gray when i went down here this one was more of a bamboo color that's what the color is called and this one was a willow color which i think these two look the same but i don't know it might just be me and then this last one right here is the moss green and these two this one's actually dusty rose and this one is portrait pink Dusty Rose actually is my best friend um, because that's the theme that, like, that's the color that I wanted for my wedding. It didn't end up happening that way because it ended up being more of, like, a neutral pink, like, pastel -y pink. But Dusty Rose was in my head the whole time that I was planning it. And I was like, Dusty Rose, everything has to be Dusty Rose. Um, so the bridesmaid dresses were Dusty Rose and the napkins were Dusty Rose. And some of the flowers that I, like, included were, like, roses, but they were, like, pink. So... That was, that was that. But with these markers, like I said, they are dual ended. As you can see, this one is more of like a thick and this one's the thinner one. Um, this color specifically is the dusty pink. Of course, I picked this one out of the box. But I really like this color because it looks like when it's wet, not like super wet, but when it's kind of wet, it looks darker than it should be, and then when it's not wet, it dries. So this one's the one that I just did, and this one's the one after, like, a couple minutes, because I was just testing it. Um, but I really like those two colors, and they're really cute, and I feel like this will up my bullet journaling game. Although, they do bleed through, because I have a white desk. It's from Ikea. I have a white desk, and it did kind of bleed through a little bit, but, I mean, this is the bleed through. And then this is the actual color. So I'll have to figure out how to do it without it bleeding through my notebook. And then the last thing that I got, I actually got so many notebooks. Like I said, I have a problem with notebooks and journals and buying stationery. <laughs> so I ended up buying nine of these. <sighs> Why nine? Why not? So... On the Fringe website, because I did go ahead and look it up, the prices range for notebooks because they have certain collections every season. So the cheapest one that I found was around not $12. I have it written down. $12 and the highest one was around $18. And that didn't include the high-end planners. Those went up to $36, which I think is ridiculous because $36 for a planner of like 
what's it going to do? Plan my day for me? It doesn't. So, but I did find these notebooks and I've been in love with these notebooks because they are very high quality notebooks and they are from fringe I don't know if I mentioned that already but they retail for the sticker says let me see the sticker says they retail for nine dollars realistically I don't believe they're nine dollars because of the quality and on the fringe website there was nothing for nine dollars there was a pen for nine dollars but it's a pen one one pen nine dollars not worth it um so with this i did buy nine notebooks um they are the leather bound and this one says grateful thankful and blessed i don't know if you guys can see it but i really like this it's really cute this other one says for i know the plans i have for you and i've seen a lot of these they do have a lot of bible verses but some of these are just really nice motivating quotes that i think everyone can incorporate in their day-to-day -day life um this one just says notes and it's that same teal color as this one um, I don't know if you guys can see it because the lighting's kind of weird, but they're both the same color. Again, why do I need the same color? Why not? This one says, new day, new mindset, new focus, and new intentions, and new results. This one's actually black. I've been wanting a black leather notebook, so when I saw this, I'm just like, I'm getting it. And that's, that's that. I'm getting it. There was nothing else. So most of these come with 192 lined pages, and I wish they had some dotted ones, but it's okay. See, if you can see this, um, these are all white pages, and they do have the date right here. And then some of the other notebooks that I have on here, or there's like two on here that I have that have more of a cream colored page. And I'm not a fan, but I like them, so the quality is great. They're good for school because they're just tiny, and they're spirally, and you can just stick them in your backpack and go. These other two that I got, this one says notes, and I like this one because I've always liked that like old school feel, and this is actually imprinted into the leather, so I don't know if you guys can see my nail scratching at it. And it just says notebook. It's simple. It's easy. And this one does say, say on here, it retails for $9. Again, I don't believe that for a second because the quality is so great, but it retails for $6.99. And then this one is another teal one. It says make your mark. This one's more of a coral color, and it's a cute coral color, but it's all that leathery bound color. And the inside, like I said, they're all the same. It's all lined paper with the date at the corner. Um, and these last two, this one's not really that leathery composition. It's more of like a suede, and I don't know if you guys can see it, but it does, it's like that suede feel to it, which, I don't know. It says it's $9.00. Don't believe it for a second, but I got it for $6.99, so well worth it. And then this last one, I just liked it because it reminded me of like spring summertime because it's all beachy and it's all palm trees. Um, this one. I just like how that looks with the sun. Um, but yeah, so as you can see, it has like little pink palm trees and little green palm trees. And I like it. I love this. I love this. So I needed nine. Apparently, I didn't need nine. My husband was like, why did you buy all these? And I'm like, why not? And then he's all like, yeah. he's, he's very understanding when it comes to my stationary problem, but he's always like, babe, like, you have nine. Like, every time we've gone since then, because we've gone back like one more time since last Thursday, and I saw this uh, marble colored one, and it's white marble with like pink, and I needed it. Like, I needed it more than I needed like soap. Not really, but I needed it, and my husband was like, no, you don't need it, like, you don't need it, you don't need it, and I put it back, and that one was actually $12, it wasn't $6.99, and I think that's why he was like, really, $12, you might as well buy it from the website, but, yeah, I didn't get that one, I, I felt pretty proud of myself, because I'm like, good job, like, you didn't buy another one, but at the same time, like, if I hide it and come back at another time when he's not here, maybe I could get it. But I didn't go back. I didn't go back and I was pretty proud of myself. So for now, I just have these nine, this stack of nine. And they were all $6.99. The total for these notebooks just themselves was around $62.91. I, like I said, I looked at the website and I rated it for like all of them being like $12. And it would have been $108 with, through the website. So technically, technically, I'm very big on technicalities. So technically, this was just, I saved $45. So technically, these nine notebooks were worth it for the $45 that I saved. But realistically, 
didn't save anything. I could have saved more by not buying nine. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I really like stationery. Um, I hope to show you guys more different hauls. Next time I'm planning to do a Target haul. And yeah, just Target and TJ Maxx. Those are my jam. Okay, so thank you guys so much for watching. Um, feel free to like the video down below or don't like it. It's up to you. Um, share it if you want to share it with someone or don't share it. So yeah, I hope to see you guys again next week. Um, like I said, I'll try to post more on Wednesdays now that school's over with. Um, I did say I was going to post Tuesdays and Saturdays, but let's be realistic. That's probably not going to happen. So it'll be more of like Wednesdays or once a week. If not, I'll do twice a week. Like this week, I actually posted two videos. I posted my BoxyCharm video, which will be down here. And feel free to click that. And then subscribe and click that little notification bell if you want to see more of my videos. Thank you, guys.